Everything in a store, and I mean everything, is designed to make you part with your savings. Marketers use your sense of smell, sight, and sound to get you to spend more money. But that's not all. Brace yourself. Stores aren't above using dirty psychological tricks to manipulate you. Let's have a look at the most popular ones. I have yet to see a store which doesn't use prices ending in .99 or any kind of .9. These prices have the nickname charm prices and their only real purpose is to make you think that stuff is cheaper than it really is. In this case, a phenomenon called the left digit effect comes into action and you perceive the price of $6.99 as only $6. Now, how do you like this? Stores play music that is slower than your heartbeat to make you spend more time wondering about. It may not make sense, but this trick works. Statistically, you don't only spend more time in such a store, but also leave 29% more money there. Who doesn't love a good sale? Well, marketing experts know about this human quirk and place huge sale signs in their windows. This draws many more shoppers into their store. Unfortunately, nobody can promise that you will indeed find any discounts inside. One more hook that stores use to make you come back again and again is loyalty cards. With the help of these cards, they can track your purchase history, figure out your buying habits, and use this info to persuade you to buy more. What's the first thing you see when you enter a store? Right you are! Discounted goods, for example, cheap socks or bargain bags of potato chips. Why would a store sell something at half its price? Is the expiration date approaching? Nope, everything is good with the quality of these goods. They are just open-the-wallet items that brutally break your psychological anti-money-wasting barrier. Beware of bogus coupons. At first glance, they seem to help you save money. But in reality, they are nothing but advertisements. They do give you some discount, but usually for the most expensive option in the store. Don't hurry to use your coupon to buy something for $4.55. You might find a cheaper alternative for $4.30 that will be just as good. Stores often try to lure you with candy and succeed in this. The Journal of Consumer Research published a study proving that people bought more luxury products like expensive watches, designer clothing, and gadgets after they were treated to some chocolates. This is also the reason why some grocery stores invite you to sample their products. Don't let yourself be tricked by words about a limited time offer. The catch is that if you believe the offer won't last long, you'll most likely act impulsively. As a result, you end up with stuff you don't need or with more things than you were planning to purchase. Have you noticed that you've been paying the same price for less product recently? Some manufacturers steadily reduce the volume of their packaging while the cost remains the same. Shampoo manufacturers tend to make a big dimple at the bottom of the bottle so that it looks the same but contains less product. Oh, you're going to love this one. It turns out that customers prefer discounts that are easy to calculate. Therefore, they will be more likely to pick used to be $25, now $20, over used to be $25, now $17. It seems obvious that the latter option saves more money, but shoppers still opt for the former. I have just one question. Why? Marketing experts use bright colors to enhance your mood, thus encouraging you to buy more. That's why most stores keep their brightest products up front. If you don't want to fall for this trick, start your shopping in the middle of the store. Retail masterminds create mazes in their stores and send you on a wild goose chase. Such a confusing store design isn't an accident or lack of thinking. When you look for something you need and can locate it, you start to lose focus. As a result, you're likely to make more impulse purchases. On top of that, most stores change their layouts at least once a month. By rearranging their products, retailers make you wander around the store in confusion. It takes time, you grow hungry and tired, and voila, you exit the store with a bag full of questionable stuff. The next trick looks outright mean. Stores put pricier items at eye level to make you pay attention to them first. As a result, more customers end up buying more costly products than they're ready to admit. Have I mentioned the checkout aisle yet? The place that's stocked to the brim with all kinds of bright and tempting things? Candies, chewing gums, magazines, and other stuff are likely to end up in your basket while you're waiting in line. When you agree to get a loyalty card, you typically leave your contact details, including your email address, 
Many stores use it to send you newsletters and notifications informing you about their special offers. Naturally, it reminds you about the existence of this particular store and encourages you to go shopping right away so as not to miss a great deal. To make you spend much more than you intended, stores use the trick of bulk pricing. Grocery stores in particular tend to offer 10 items for just $10. It looks appealing, especially if they add something along the lines of maximum five per customer. This makes you believe that you're getting a great deal. However, if you search the shelves for the same product, you may find out that one item miraculously costs a bit less than the whole package. What about the stores that offer you free shipping after you spend a particular amount of money? As a result, instead of the planned $43, you leave the store with $17 more to avoid paying for shipping which, by the way, costs only $10. Humans, you're confusing. Many stores offer you free returns and a guaranteed refund if you don't like their product. This way, they remove the risk factor from buying and people spend money more eagerly. After all, you can't get your money back at any time. Guess how many people come in to return something? You're right, almost nobody. This one may sound controversial, but some high-end stores prefer their salespeople to be rude. The trick is that in this case, customers will feel excluded from the exclusive group of people who buy things in that store. Therefore, they will buy things just to prove that they can. Have you ever paid attention to the abundance of shopping baskets and carts at the entrance of any shop? Well, they are left there not only for your convenience, but to make you buy more. According to experts, people can't stand empty baskets and carts and often fill them with things they don't need. But that's not all. The bigger your cart is, the more you buy. That's why after some stores made their carts twice as big, people began to buy 19% more products. Don't tell me that your eyes don't start to shine when they fall on buy one get one free signs. Looks like the perfect deal, doesn't it? If only life was that easy. This offer is simply a super popular marketing trick called BOGO, which is short for buy one get one. There are different BOGO varieties, with the most popular ones being buy one item, get one free and buy one item, get the second one 50% off. But let's check how it works. You can buy a pair of jeans for $60, or you can get a pair of jeans for the same $60 and a $40 shirt with a 50% discount. The second offer looks tempting. After all, $20 for a perfectly good piece of clothing isn't that much. But think about this. You weren't planning to buy a shirt. Your goal was to get a pair of jeans. And now instead of $60, you've spent $80. As for buy one get one free, you can often translate it as buy two at their regular price. You see, you can get a buy one get one free offer for apple juice and the first item costs $4, but then you notice that you can get one box of juice for $2 or $2.30. Why pay more if you don't actually need so much juice? As you can see, BOGO isn't usually a good deal, but people perceive it as such. After they notice the alluring word free, and the most curious thing about this trick is, most people realize that they're being fooled, but still fall for this offer. Have you ever made purchases under the influence of these marketing tricks? Share your experience in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share this video with your shopaholic friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay on the bright side of life.